you go. E3, E4 to the right. And there we have our flight details for today. Flight to Oslo, 7.15 am, flight SK454. Very little gate. A few people here already might have found us a seat right down there in the, in the background. So here we are, made it to the gate, just waiting for boarding now. Anything to add? Boarding to start. Let me check when it should start. I think it was 655. 655. 6.55 am. Yeah. Good. And now the time in this trusty Fitbit. Trusty Fitbit. Is 6.38. So I have Mac a competitor. Maxi can relax now. We have good time. What is it you say? Better late than never. Better early than ever. I still don't know. Something anyway, like something like that. Just taking a few Instagram photos and I can see, well, I can't see the aircraft, so you're not going to see the aircraft today. Just going to get the boarding. Oh, I saw the crew, but I can't see anything. It's a bad position it's in, it's here. In the, behind the other. Is it? I'll go have a look I'm and in see. The, it's in the other side of them. Ah, you're not, going to, you're the not going to see the plane today. It's also a very dark and rainy day. So there you have our excuse. We're just waiting for boarding. And boarding group A and B. Priority passengers first, and after that it's row 21 to 31. That's us in the yellow row. Well, it should be boarding all passengers now. And I'm next. And following Maro along, Maro's got to grab my boarding pass. And I'm going to follow onto the plane for another flight. Here we go again, indeed. So Scandinavian Airlines. I can see it right over there to the left. That's why I couldn't get a photo. I tried to go down a little bit further to get it, but I couldn't get anywhere near the aircraft to see it. So just following Maro on board on this early morning time. Maro on the Fitbit there is... 0653. There we have the aircraft out there. Hopefully you can see a little bit through the reflections. 0653 as Maro says. And our seat numbers are 21 what? Yeah, yeah. and F. On this early morning, it's a little bit cool here as we approach the aircraft. It is nice and cool with these big jackets we have on for our destination, Tomsu. And on board we go. Come on, come on. Yeah, yes, that's what I like. And we're following Maro down to our seats. We in Sasko on the end. And when we come, Maro found the seats. And nice there we are. For nice window seat, yeah, it does look oh. like that. Oh. And there we are at the seats. I better get my mask off also. Oh, what a relief. Yeah, it's so good. Vaccinated, so. I'm three times vaccinated already. Oh, you are three. Yeah. I'll probably get my flip on January. We had somebody really angry commenting on our last flight. Uh, why we didn't have masks on and I think uh, no one must be angry even though they think people still should have masks on it's a great thing when we don't have to get it off when you don't have to trust what the authorities say let's get back to the old normal as much as possible thumbs up to this so by the door we were giving the by the door when we boarded the aircraft but the Door, when you get fin, she in, keeps things simple. <laughs> you get disinfection wipes, which is very good. So you can wipe your hands, you can wipe your cutleries, you can take it to the toilet and wipe the seat if you and want. It's called a lavatory, Mara. Yeah. And you better do the lavatory before you do your hands. Uh, other way, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lavatory, then face. Is it the two couple dance talking? <laughs> anyway, you got to give your seat a wipe, though. Yes. Marlo's already getting her seat all done also. Welcome, Mapo. Now we're going to the test. We beat our test. Great to see you. So that's the baby. You can see you after a bit. Do you guys like to have a bagage on the stool? Oh, yeah. If you sit on the first row, or at the end of the day, will all bagage and lose the gifts that are placed in the bagage hall. Thank you. Welcome, Mapo. When you found your seat, please take a step aside and let the passengers behind you pass. I'm not going to be seeing much of that window, Maro. Look at this. Oh, no. I can't even zoom in and out and fix it. Oh, yeah. 
can see there. Maybe a little bit I can do. There you go. It's not going to help much. Maybe a little bit the take off. Yeah, it'll take the water away. Mm. So apologies for that beforehand. Marlo's still very busy there with her Instagram. I am not busy with the Instagram. I'm busy to put the light mode, as you know. As you can see, I have a microphone on my chest. I just wanted to mention Mara and I did buy dual microphones, but we haven't been very happy with the result at all. It's like it cancelled itself out the sound, especially during heavy takeoffs, which destroyed the sound on some trip reports where we actually just didn't use the trip report at all. Um, so in this case, we're going back to a single microphone on me and we'll try and move it over to Maro every now and again also when Maro speaks or says something. So apologies for that, but until some better technology comes along, we'll be using just the one. Yeah. And the boarding is already complete. Lucky, lucky. Nobody next to me. You got a bonus there again. So as I can't show you out the window, we're going to show Maro wiping down the, the tray table with the alcohol wipes. I'd say wipe down the table, wipe down the armrest, and one should actually have done the seat belts, so wipe down the hands also. For sure, she's in full action over here, as you can see, and there we have the tray table getting nice and disinfectant, hopefully. Yes, all the areas where you might touch. Thank you, Maro. Welcome. Mycket välkomna ombord till oss här på SOS och Star Alliance och ombord på den här morgonflygningen till Oslo. Jag heter Anders och är er kapten. En del ringväder här i Köpenhamn och lite vindar på sträckan som kan göra att vi får lite lätt turbulens nu och då under dagens flygning. Jag vet att en del av er tycker att det där kan vara lite obehagligt men jag kan garantera att så länge man sitter på fast så är det helt ofarligt. Good morning and very welcome on board to us at Scandinavian Airlines and Star Alliance and uh, on board on this early morning flight bound for Oslo. My name is Anders Lund, I am your captain. We uh, still have another 10 minutes until our timetable time of departure. They are loading the last uh, luggage now, so it looks as we will depart latest according to it. Flying time is estimated at one hour and five minutes. We have some rain here in the Copenhagen area. We also have some winds on the route today, so there might be some light turbulence now and then. I hope that you will enjoy the flight with us. I know that the cabin crew, Ole, Barbara, Susan and Tony will take good care of you in the cabin. Here on Flight Tech, me and my colleagues Martin and Petra will do our very best to give you a pleasant flight. Vi forbereder nu til start, så vil vi svælge fly til stand på dit mobiltelefoner eller andet elektronisk udstyr. We are now preparing for departure. Please select flight mode on your mobile phone and all other electronic devices. This is really a vicious window with a blur on the camera. There's nothing to do. There's so many drops and mist on that window that I'm not going to be able to do anything until after takeoff. Always keep your seatbelt fast whenever the seatbelt sign is on and we recommend that you keep it fast during the entire flight. If oxygen is needed, a panel above you will open and the mask will appear. Your life vest is under your seat. Are you good to fly? Yes, I am. Are you? I am. Good, good. Still waiting for pushback here. And the time on the trusty Bolsa is actually a little bit over quarter past seven. We are supposed to depart at quarter past seven. It is 90 minutes past 7 a.m. and pushback has begun. This is going to be the best picture you're going to get. So I'm just going to make some quick edits down towards the runway for the takeoff. Flaps are being lowered for takeoff. And taxi into the runway has begun on this wet Copenhagen morning in November. If anybody knows what that sound is, please do let us know in the comments. And now we are just about to turn onto the runway and take off. Zoom 
way in the air and we got a little bit of a better view and I think we're going to go straight into the clouds today. And we're in the clouds so no views here. Got a little bit cleaner view now as we ascend after takeoff. Again, apologies for the blurry window because of the raindrops. There's not much one can do about that. It's just the way it goes. It's still dark here in the cabin as we ascend. And it's still getting lighter outside as you can see. Come on sunshine. Here you have the two happy flyers. I think we've done enough. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I see light out there. Here we go. Well, it did look like we had broken the cloud already so I actually think we have I'm not seeing any sun up here yet there's still clouds on the top of us yes clouds love the turbulence yeah, a little bit of turbulence they did warn us of some turbulence yeah, and there the we sun. go the sun is coming Maro singing her song there yeah. what song are you singing here comes the sun seatbelt sign just went off sun. Maro sees the sun rays Oh, look how beautiful, look there. I see it, oh, it's behind us. Difficult to get that angle, but there it is. Beautiful sunrise. Look at that. So here we are on our way to Oslo. We're sending to our cruise altitude with a beautiful view. Lovely sunrise down to the right of us. We did get a few shots of that, luckily. So we are not severe in the morning, but so we are not kaffe or tea. Vi ser skover det mulighed for at købe snak og korte drikkevarer. Vores menu finder du i Stolop. Og det er bo muligt at fortælle via brugens point. Ja, det er det. Og der er der håber jeg at komme til vores sit vand og nu. Men det er hvis hun kan betale med en løsning. Han tog videre med en reception. Vi ser plads en guide op til Oslo. Thank you. During boarding, I did show you the various uh, documentation from the seat in front of us. I'll quickly skim it through just to recap. We have the safety on board card. Always a good idea to read that. We have Wi-Fi on board. There are some instructions on how to connect. Some of the passengers sitting in the higher classes, they have free Wi-Fi access on the flight. I think the rest of us can, can pay for that. And then of course we have Maro's favorite, the menu. The nagging hasn't begun yet. We've just been in the lounge, so I'm hoping I'm going to not hear the menu nagging today. Well, what doesn't exist? What doesn't exist? None of the seat pockets. There's no bath bag. No one. None of them. That's not very good. Especially when they say there's turbulence coming. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you who want to charge your tablet or mobile phone device, there's a USB charger here on the seat. Just to the left of that, there's a coat hanger. Well, as I always say, for smaller coats, I don't know what huge coat can actually hang here. And the tray table, I better just close it again, and I'll show you how to open the tray table. Just click the ratchet, the switch, bring it down. And you can see we have two uh, cup holders, one on each side. And this is, as usual, almost as usual, a sliding table for those of us with the bigger bellies. Closing it is just close it and close the switch. There you go. Here on the seat, my seat is already reclined, but to recline the seat, you press the button. Mara will do that now on her own seat. There's no one behind me. No, there's not. And there you have some recline. Always nice. Not that it makes a big difference, but it does make a little bit of difference. Maro says it's lethal. She'll already fall asleep. <laughs> you can see the sun is really coming out outside. It's going to be a beautiful day, at least up above the clouds today. Just received a coffee each. One coffee for me and a serviette. And a coffee for Maro. Some black coffee, both of us like black coffee. I'm going to mention something, I think it's okay to compare airlines. We recently flew with Flyer, the new Norwegian low cost carrier, and uh, on that flight, you got a bottle of water when you boarded the aircraft. 
and coffee tea were complementary, which is a very good service, which uh, I must just mention SAS does not offer water on board, so I think they could learn a little bit from their low-cost carrier flyer. Yeah, because I was asking one black coffee and one glass of water, and they say that uh, we only sell water. We only sell water. I think so. water should be part of any airline's yeah. price because uh, it's in the airline's own interest also that the passenger does not become dehydrated. So how's that coffee? You got to drink some before the turbulence comes. You know me, I already start to panic because I don't have water. Well, get some water in the airport. Good and hot coffee. Oh. I just want to mention that we are both very grateful that we can do these flights and that we're able to do these flights again as we both love flying and uh, no matter how many times we fly and do this trip report we always enjoy it yeah. we always enjoy the flights because our opinion is the journey is just as important as the destination we enjoy the journey yeah. so uh, we hope that those of you who can't fly yet will be able to fly as soon as possible again also wherever you are in the world so thumbs up to being able to fly and thumbs up to that all of you will be able to travel in the near future again all, all of us will be able to travel normally yeah. I also just forgot to mention Mauro mentioned also we have many of you commenting in our or under our videos that you enjoy our videos so much and you feel like you're flying with us when you are not able to fly we're happy that yeah. our videos are giving you pleasure thanks for letting us know and uh, all of you who comment thank you for commenting because when you sit for hours editing a video, it's always nice to ah, okay. to know that uh, somebody's watching. You know, just getting a comment makes it all worth it, no matter if you're just saying hello. So leave a comment down below and yeah. leave some likes. They also help the videos get seen. And when you're yeah. working hard on a video, you really do want it to be seen. Yeah. So thanks for that. Those of you who like, those of you who forget to like, please do. If you enjoy the video, of course, leave us a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So I'm looking outside, you can see from the wing that, that it's getting a little bit bumpy now. It's really shaking out there. So today I'm probably not going to give you the laboratory tour on this very short flight. Hello to you all from me, Maxi. Here again, you've got a laboratory tour after all. It's a very small laboratory, as you can see here. There we have the laboratory. Laboratory wall with a flush button. Over here on the left we have a little baby changing table coming over here down to the two laboratory rolls and a basin with some soap and a lock closing the lock turns on the light coat hanger up there on top I can hardly move it so it's so small this toilet and uh, yeah there we go I think I'm gonna end it off already here because I can hear the people waiting outside the door there we have the laboratory tour. And here we have the view from the rear of the aircraft. And there you go. You got that laboratory tour after all. A very short one, be it. I could hardly film in there. There wasn't space to move around. The lens wasn't wide enough for it either. Uh, Maro says that there's about 15 minutes of flight left. Yeah. Time here on the old trusty pulsar right now is about one minute to 8 a.m. When we get to Oslo Airport, we'll end this trip report video and uh, pick up with a transfer video at Oslo Airport also. So that'll be the second part of this series. We're not quite sure whether what order we'll do it in, but watch out for the Oslo Airport transfer. We're going to be in a bit of a hurry. How long do we have, Maro? One hour and 20 minutes. One hour and 20 minutes. We have to get out, transfer, pick up our baggage, take our baggage to check in and check it in again and then go to our uh, gate. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we're not there yet. We're still flying and uh, we'll show you the landing soon. It's a beautiful day. Very cloudy down below us, so it's not gonna exactly going to be sunny under us. But, but uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying a whole lot of gibberish. Another quick look out the window, as you can see. If I point the camera down a little bit, you can see just how cloudy it is down. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah, it is cloudy. It's gray cloud down below us. I might not have mentioned the legroom. It's spacious enough, as I say, for this short haul kind of flight. It's only an hour flight. I can live with that, being six foot tall. I do have a problem, however, if the seat in front of me 
was put down, then it wouldn't be very comfortable at all. Can you stretch your legs? I can stretch my legs out like that and I can pull them to the sides, as you can see there. So that's okay. In some places you can't even do that. How about you, Maro? How are your legs there? I'm business class as usual. Full business class for Maro. And I forgot to mention, here on the seat there's also a net where you can hold. Maro's using it to hold her mobile phone and to hold those sterilization wipes. You're wondering why they are not open? Well, it's because we have our own sterilization wipes with us and we used those when we came into the aircraft. Just above us you can see the no smoking sign is on. There's a fan for each passenger, a reading light and a calling button for the flight attendants. Not sure whether you can see it or not from this picture, but the aircraft is pointing downward now. We have begun our downward descent towards Oslo. This is what happens when you drink Kameldansk. Okay, we're looking down at all of you who never leave a comment, who never leave a like, who enjoy our videos, who haven't subscribed, who haven't followed us on Instagram. Instagram accounts down here. Do follow us. Remember to subscribe. Please leave us a like and do leave a comment. Just kidding. Do what you want to do, but it does help us a hell of a lot. And the more views we get on the videos, the more videos we will bring you. That I can promise you. I'm getting darker now as we slowly entering the cloud layer. And the time here on the trusty Pulsar is around 7 minutes past 8 a.m. Ladies and gentlemen, flight deck, as you have noticed, we started the uh, descent towards your destination, Moscow Garden Moon Airport, which means we will be underground in approximately 15 minutes, so please return to your seats and fasten your seat belts. Quite nice weather here in the Copenhagen area, uh, good visibility, uh, light winds, temperatures plus 2 degrees at the moment. We from Flight Deck do hope you had a pleasant morning flight with us, and uh, we'll also like to wish you a good weather this day. We are now prepared the cabin for landing. Items heavier than one kilo, for example a laptop, must be safely stowed in your cabin baggage and the USB cords must be disconnected from the seat charging ports. Cabin baggage must be placed either under the seat in front of you or in the overhead compartment. Nice view is outside. Little town down there. As you can see the cabin lights have been turned off as we approach Gardamon Airport, Oslo Airport. Despite the clouds you can still see a sunrise coming there above the wing. Flaps are going down for landing. We are now on final approach to Oslo Airport. Shorter than Helsinki, isn't it? Yeah, maybe a little bit shorter. Yeah. Because when we flew with Fluor, if you haven't seen our Fluor trip report, we'll leave a link to that down below also. And when we flew with Fluor, where they made it from Oslo to Copenhagen in one hour. Check that trip report I said down below. The link is in the description also. And here we come towards Oslo Gardermoen Airport, or Oslo Airport Gardermoen, I think it's called. The correct way to say it. So here we come. smoothly. Time Maro is? 0827. 0827 as we are about to touch down. Thank 
velkommen til Oslo Gardermo Lufthavn. Af sikkerhedsmæssige og hensyn, så bedst du vil holde sikkerhedsbæltet fastspændt. Nu skal du være opmærksom på din bogforskel ved flyet og brugen eller trappen. Vi håber, du har været i flyvning med os i SAS og starter lejens indtil vi ses næste gang. Se i SAS. Mange tak og ønsker dig. Snaps up already. Welcome to Gardermo Oslo. For safety reasons, Keep your seatbelt fast, keep seatbacks on the table upright when escape rooms free from camera packets until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Please be careful when opening the overhead compartments as camera packets may fall out. Before leaving us, ensure that you don't leave any belongings behind you. When disembarking, be aware of a difference in level between the aircraft and the jet bridge or stairs. Smoking is only permitted in designated smoking areas. We hope that you've enjoyed this flight with SAS and Starlines. Until next time, from all of us at SAS, thank you. Goodbye and have a nice day. SAS doesn't have red engines anymore, or what? No, they changed the, the livery. Very nice livery at that. I like it. You don't need masks anywhere, no? No, masks not required here in Oslo. This embarkation has begun and just following Maro out and off we go. Want to find out whether we must fetch our baggage or not. Those of you who have been watching this video, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, really leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and do please leave us a comment. We'll see you on the next video, which is the transfer video here at Oslo Garmon Airport. Thanks for watching. And here, there was a drum so and we are on our way. Welcome to well we'll end off here and we'll start the transfer as we come up. Very good I thought it was uh, worse weather. Yeah.